Hi everyone, today's short video is a demo on how to draw a realistic eye quickly using a ballpoint pen. I'm using a blue big pen today. I started the eye with a simple outline sketch, which I did with an HB2 pencil. This is almost a real time video. I have only slightly sped up the video so that hopefully you can get as much detail as possible from this video so that you can try this out at home. Now I'm using just a blue pen today, but it is also quite nice to sometimes um, mix colors when it comes to um, ink artwork. I've seen a lot of um, pen drawings where the people have used multiple colors. Uh, a nice color combination with a blue big pen would be green. Um, I think this would especially work well with eyes. Uh, perhaps if you're drawing a blue eye that has some green tones to it, um, some more fun girly colors would be uh, to use a pink and purple combination. But for the purpose of today's um, quick demo, we are going to be just using this beautiful blue big pen. Now I like to start with the iris. Um, I think that uh, this is generally the, the part of the eye that requires the most definition and detail. You want to really build up the definition in an eye by shading the iris really well. This is essentially where most of the detail is and the rest of the eye area surrounding the iris requires less focus if you really want the eyes to pop and stand out. The paper I'm drawing on today is Ashrad sketch pad. It's drawing cartridge and it's 200 grams per square meter. You can use any paper though. You do not have to use sketch paper to draw with a big pen. You can use normal printer paper. It actually works quite well because it's a smooth texture and the smoother your paper is, the more realistic uh, your drawing is going to look. It's going to glide more with the pen and what you really have to just uh, be mindful of is that if you don't have a big pen and you're working with another type of ballpoint pen, um, it does need to have a good flow of ink. This is because when you are applying pressure evenly, you want your ink to spread evenly as well over the paper. This will allow a much more synchronized look of blending, a synchronized look of drawing that will create that illusion of realism. This type of ink drawing is a wonderful technique for quick studies if you enjoy portrait or figure artwork. You can practice drawing facial, facial features such as the nose, ears and mouth, as well as hands and feet. These body parts are often most difficult, so a nice easy way to practice and improve your drawing proportions and realism is with a ballpoint pen. Ink drawing is also perfect for art journaling whether to plan a composition or just to doodle some ideas quickly with a bit of detail and shading. The strokes I'm using are a combination of cross hatching and circular blending. The reason for this is to create smooth tone with blending and add a definition with the cross hatching strokes. I'm using the cross hatching mainly on the iris and pupil. While working on the uh, white of the eye. I don't want to outline uh, the entire shape. Um, this is a classic drawing mistake um, that is very easy to make. Lots of people do it. Um, that's something that we really want to avoid. We want to sort of define light shading and keeping a large area of the, the eye white still clean white paper uh, so that you get that really, really light tone and it actually enhances and, and allows for the for the darker pupil to stand out against that white of the eye, how it naturally would. Now when you're working on the pupil of the eye, you need to remember that if you if you look at an eye really closely, is that you have a very dark pupil in the center and then you have an iris that has splatters of pigment, tiny little specks of pigment. And those tiny little specks of, of pigment are in different shades. Some are darker specks and some are lighter specks. And then you have an undertone of the color pigment that the majority of your iris is. So if your, your eye is 
your eyes are blue or they're green or they're brown there's going to be that main majority color at the base but then you're going to have these little specks or these splatters of pigment and you need to be able to define that when you're trying to draw an eye realistically it doesn't matter whether it is with pencil or whether it is with pen or even with with colored pencil if you're trying to achieve realism you need to be able to show that in the iris area and you need to have a dark pupil that's probably the main points that you need to look at when you are drawing an eye uh, in a realistic way now once you've defined the pupil enough and then you start moving on to the white of the eye and the skin around the eye your strokes are going to become um, a lot lighter a lot looser and they're going to stretch a lot further they're not going to be as tightly um, uh, interlinked and layered as they are inside of the pupil this is because you've already added the main focal point which is the center of the eye and now your next job is really just to um, work some shading around it to build up the different angles of the eye uh, the curvatures and to show how the light is reflecting against the our overall shape of the eye around the pupil and also how that skin the lower lid and the upper lid are overlapping against well overlapping uh, the eye itself it's uh, quite an easy process uh, if you practice this a few times and it's a very quick and easy exercise to do um, you can see now uh, once I've um, added enough of the light shading around the white of the eye and the upper lid I'm sort of going a little bit in between where the where the lashes are going to be and also the crease of the eye is having a little bit of definition there um, it is okay to go back to the pupil if you need to add a little bit more intensity some darker areas to make it stand out more um, you've got to define uh, a little bit of, of dark lines and some definition uh, separating the lid from the eye uh, it needs to, to have that look that it's overlapping and then when you're doing the eyelashes you would probably flick up from the top of the eyelid uh, at quite a strong hard point and then sort of uh, flick your your pen out in such a way that the edge of the lashes are a bit lighter than where you start at the base of the upper lid you'll do the same for the lower part of the lid where you're putting a lot of pressure at the base where you're starting that lash and then you're streaming it out very lightly and as you can see it creates a more natural look so our eyelashes naturally are thicker at the base and they taper out to be thinner and they also tend to be um, thicker at the base where you get a few shorter hairs especially at the corner of the upper lid and you just need to redefine that by adding a few more lashes there that extend a little bit shorter than the longer ones and this can sort of give you an effective um, eyelash uh, that really does look realistic after you finish your drawing uh, you could rub out your pencil um, I would wait a few minutes just in case the the ink is perhaps still a little bit wet still it hasn't dried completely but with a big pen it generally takes quite quick I rub this out maybe after about a minute or two and now you have your uh, perfect demo of a blue eye I hope that you enjoyed it you learned something today you can try this at home if you do have any questions please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible um, also don't forget to like subscribe and click notification if you'd like to see more of these videos um, here are a few of the materials that I used today so you can use the same ones at home if you like and I used a cartridge drawing paper uh, in this uh, demo